Love line is meant for an adult audience. Love line may contain sexually oriented content. Listener discretion is advised. Oh, oh, now here's Love line. With R Rick Ricky Rackman, uh, uh, Dr. Drew, uh, and Adam Carolla. You ever been with a girl? Yeah. You have. You're right. Okay, you're on a date, okay? Yeah. John, you're on a date. Yeah. You're making out. You're kissing her, right? Uh-huh. You're getting hot. You're getting hard, yeah. okay? Then all of a sudden, you, you, you want to take it the further. You start rubbing up against her, and then you are denied. She says, I'm not really into having sex, and you're all hot, and the term is blue balls, meaning that you, you're horny because you're rubbing up and, you know, it's, it's your brains are in your balls, basically. It's, it's when your brain tells your balls prematurely that they're going to get some tonight. It's like when the brain goes, you know, uh, message to Scrotumville, we're getting some, boys. Wind it up. Crank it up. Here we go. And then three hours later, a goes by. With a stop sign. Stop. Hold on. Hold it up. <laughs> that's right. Denied. That, that's when it happened. <laughs> Let's talk to Matt. Come Try sexual sex. I'm not sure if that's the technical term for it, but... You'll try anything sexual. Yes. I mean, animals, it <laughs> doesn't really matter. I've, I've been thinking about it. Um, after I have sex, a lot of times, um, I have pets. I have two cats. I have a dog. Uh-oh, um, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Where are we going? Where are we going, animal Matt? rights people in here. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, Matt. I can't I, wait I, to hear this. I, I thought about it, you know. Thought and, about what, Matt? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You, you thought about doing it with your cat. Actually, the dog. No, the dog. No, no, no. Well, no. sometimes, I know, it's sick, isn't it? Yes. That's, I'm calling, I, yes. I want to find out there's something chemically wrong, you know, in, in my brain. Is there something wrong with me? Yeah, you're a freak, Matt. <laughs> well, thank you. You don't have sex with your dog, Matt. You're, I mean, you're trying to pick up on your dog? No, my dog, it, it has, every time me or a guy or a girl gets done having sex, um, either they go or they go to the bathroom, whatever, my dog comes running in because I always leave my door open when I have sex. And I feel an attraction to him. It's, and, and usually oh, when I go with sex before... Oh, wait, 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 wait a second, Matt. Huh. What kind of dog is this? <laughs> it's a terrier. Stop. Oh, terrier. No stop. Let's stop. Terrier. This is ridiculous. Matt. Mm-hmm. Bad thing. What's that? Animals are not good for sex. Bad Matt. Bad, bad Matt. Matt. Bad Matt. Down, boy. Really? Will you bring your dog? We're going to rub your nose in it, Matt. Um, I have a <laughs> I'm dating two girls. Um, one I like sexually, the other I like emotionally. And uh, I can't figure out which one to go with. I need you guys' help. Um, the one sexually does everything for me I need to do. She'll do anything I say. The other one... What do you mean anything? Anything. Like? Like. What was the wildest thing you ever wait, said wait, to her, wait, John? Why is that important to this call? Because I want to know. <laughs> do you want to know, Adam? Yeah, this I'd like guy's to know got a too. girl that pleases him sexually, and she'll do anything. What is anything, John? Anything. Tell me the wildest thing you ever said to her. <laughs> the wildest thing. I've... Wildest. Ooh. <laughs> Take it in the bunghole, then do you know what with it? What? What's you know what? Put it in your mouth, right? Yeah. Okay, and she'll do that. Oh, anything. Oh, it, she's a keeper. Is it weird that I knew immediately what, <laughs> what he wanted? No, even, I don't even care I what the emotion a girl does. That girl's a keeper, John. <laughs> Yeah. Pull the old... All right. Old oh, what were you going to say? I said the old fudge call, but... No, 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 no stop, <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop, guys, stop. No, the other one's great, though, man. She's like a mom to me, man. She takes like care of me. Like a mom? Man. You know what? Neither of these sound like good relationships to me. They both sound totally... What? I think the first well, one sounds no, like a keeper. One is one is some, <laughs> some, some, some one is some object that's not even a, barely even a person to him, and the other is his mom. I'll tell you what I would do. I would keep the first one, the sexual one. Oh yeah. And she's she's pliable, and I would form her into my own likeness. Oh, I love it. I would get her hooked on phonics. Yep. I would get her a couple of those like Spanish cassettes. I tried nine times. It's not working, man. Have you got her the hooked on phonics series? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nine. I would read to her. I would smarten her up. And then you keep her, because she's already there sexually. You just have to get her over the hump emotionally. Here's an even better idea. You take the nice girl out on a date, and you respect her, and then you drop her off, because you know you're going to have some nasty sex with the nasty girl. All right, that'll well, work. That, that's uh, another compromise. I think that was Drew's initial no, idea. I think John needs to learn how to have a real relationship. <laughs> Charcoal, is that okay? Crayon's a little advanced for me. Oh, uh, that'll work. All right, go ahead. Okay. Hungry. I am writing, by the way. Go ahead. Okay, I'm just going to read this. 
Uh, some women experience the ejaculation of fluid during orgasms that are produced by the, the stimulation of the Grafenberg spot. What, is, is that highlights you're reading there? Yeah. The, the Graf- Find the boot. The Grafenberg j- spot is the G spot. Okay, right. right. The G spot is located approximately an inch inside the vagina on the anterior wall just behind the pubic bone. Right. All right, wait a minute. Slow down. Inch inside. It's like when someone gives you directions, it takes a second to process. Inch inside. But you know what guys are going to do? They're still going to get lost, and they won't ask directions. It's just the way guys are. (laughs) We have the map, but we won't look at the map. We'll get lost, and we'll pretend like we know where we're going. Inch males. Inch inside is maximum depth for me, by the way. (laughs) Inch inside and against the pubic wall of bone. So that's sort the front. Right. The interior wall. Right. Okay. All right. The interior's front. I'm so in head, there. Head an inch in and go north. Okay. Towards Mecca, yeah. It says stimulating the G-spot <laughs> trigger the production of the holes in the fluid from the skein's gland. Right, the skein's gland. The skein's are the skein's and the Bartholins gland. Tend to You're making it sound pretty damn sexy. The skein's and the Bartholins? Skein's and Bartholins. Are they feuding again? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the skein's daughter wants to marry the Barthlins. Yeah? I got that out of my computer, though. Oh, really? Yeah, Mike, I got a new plan. Yeah. Turn the computer off and go out with a real girl. Hey, hey, any research you can get can help. Now, Mike, exactly. Mike, did, did it also spit out a schematic you could tape to her so you really knew your way around? <laughs> She's like, it's not turning me on. Hey, I don't give a crap. Look at this. This is where your G-spot is. They need like a template, like a vagina template, something that comes out of a computer. You can tape it right on there. There's right. different, there's latitudes and yeah, longitudes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, true. And all that, right, that, all right. That thing ain't going to work. Let's talk to Mike from Fresno. Mike, uh, I wanted to talk to Dr. Drew. Yeah, Rich, what's up? Oh, oh, Matt was trying to pick up on you. I just there make small go. talk. Oh. Yeah, I said guy, gay, guy. I, gay guys never come up, make small talk. Matt did. Yeah. Matt, let me ask you a question, okay? Okay. Do you drink Diet Coke? No, I drink Diet Pepsi. All right, that's the same. That's the same. Okay, Ricky, you can fold your socks and balls, right? Do you, do you put your socks in balls? Hey, I do better. I do triangles. No, okay. you don't. Yeah, I do. Yeah, that's that's even higher up on the gay uh, oh. cosmic oh. chart. Okay. What Sock, about cats? Sock, sock like cats? neatness. I have, I have a couple cats. Uh, okay. okay. What was the other I, one? I got a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what about the, uh, the like uh, yogurt? Do you, you shop for yogurt? No, I'm more of a mocha smoothie kind of person. Mm. Now, well, that'll now, do. Now, that'll Adam, do. Adam's gay tests. If these are the Adam said, if you drink Diet Coke, you eat yogurt, you have cats, and you. Oh, sh- I eat yogurt. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, Matt. If you eat yogurt, you drink Diet Coke or right. Pepsi, <clears throat> put your socks and balls, and have cats. You're gay. I have all four of those things, and I've never smoked a pipe. And let's not forget about the print. And poster thing. When you yeah. get like a concert poster, you frame it. Yeah. Okay. There we go, Matt. <laughs> now, Matt, Matt's an articulate guy. Would what, what, tell us how, like, for instance, that 15-year-old that called and didn't know whether or not to approach another peer of his because he couldn't tell whether or not he was gay. How, well, I mean, you can't live your life in fear. You got to yeah. ask somebody. Well, but Matt, how do you how do you guys tell? I mean, what what is it? Oh, that you clues you in? they have that accent. You know, the the gay man accent. You can tell, or if they walk a funny way. All right. Now, Matt? Yeah? Right. So you heard me, uh, tr- I, I don't know if I articulated this very well or not, but about 10 minutes ago, I was saying, what is it? Why are some guys hit upon, even if, even if they're straight, more than others? Well, it depends on what the guy likes. If he wants a big husky guy, he'll ask the big husky. If he likes the scrawny guy, he'll ask the scrawny guy. Yeah, but if he's straight and he asks a big husky guy, he might get his, you know, job busted. But I'm, well, just, I just, I'm just wondering if... Why guys always hit on certain guys more than other guys? Some guys are more mm, it's just, it's closer just, to the gayness than the other guys. Are. Right, and I'm thinking my theory is is they don't know it. Oh, they don't know they're gay. Right. They're they're right. they're gay. They don't know it, but the gays know it. Well, they're friend, giving some. Friend, they're giving off some scent or something that they're not aware of. Well, not a scent. All right, but my friend Tony used to tell me that all the time. Matt, you're gay. No, I'm not. I am not gay. Is I couldn't it? like, you know, that group Erasure? I couldn't like them until I was gay. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do it. I like There's that. something in your anus that needs to be jiggled a little bit. Oh. <laughs> erasure. Any more questions for the game, man? No, but man, I appreciate that. I appreciate you making small talk with me. I feel, I feel pretty now. You know what? He's going to go and put his socks in balls, man. Yeah. You have been listening to Love Line. <laughs> Opinions expressed by Ricky Rackman, Dr. Drew, Adam Carolla, or anybody else on this program are not necessarily anyone's. Loveline.
producer, Ann Wilkins. 